Hi guys, a few people were interested in how I crafted my rings and uh, they are rings with elemental damage with attacks, uh, life, mana cost, uh, cream multi from an essence and a bunch of resin suffixes. They're pretty easy to make, I made them in uh, less than 6-7 uh, exalts and they're pretty strong. I could have kept going and gotten better resists, the last suffix, but these are good enough. Uh, I'm capped on res and... Um, I chose to go for crafted mana cost because it makes my skill cost zero and when I have a lot of headhunter buffs, uh, I can cast, uh, I can attack for free. I have minus 20 on my chest and minus seven on each ring. So I have a minus 34 mana cost, which makes my eye shot zero. Uh, also can get to zero mana cost on lighting arrow. The only downside of this setup is that I can't use uh, inspiration. So I'll show you how to craft them. You want to start with a fractured elemental damage with attack ring. Uh, they go for a few X on the market, and uh, after that, you want to make it rare so you can use essences, and uh, you want to spam at deafening essences of scorn until you get usable suffixes, at least one usable suffix. And I would uh, recommend keeping like, depending on your build, you probably want stuff like uh, intelligence, uh, resists, accuracy, maybe attack speed. In this case, if you hit a really good res, you can try to suffix to prefix to remove the strength. And um, if you fail it, you just go back to essence spamming. Uh, I use a lot of prefix to suffix, a suffix to prefix in this craft. Okay, in this example, you have a good res, you can try to prefix to suffix. You go in the bestiary and you just do prefix to suffix. And if you get another good res, you can go to the next step. In this case, we got unlucky, we go back to essence spamming. This might take a few essences. Uh, you just care about good suffixes right now. You don't really care about prefixes too much. Uh, if you're like a deck stacking build, build, maybe, this would be pretty good with dexterity and elemental res. Uh, if this was intelligence, I would have kept it for my build because I'm getting I'm getting intelligence from my boots. Uh, let's, say, let's say this was intelligence and I would have kept it. Suffix, we go for intelligence, it was like 40, something around 40. Yeah, let's say this is good enough for our build. And once you get to this step, you can do uh, suffix can be changed. You go in bands prefix and you do suffix can be changed. Now, our suffixes are protected because of the suffix can be changed. And our prefix cannot be touched because it's fractured. So we can just go ahead and use a veiled chaos orb. This will always add a Veiled Prefix, because our suffixes are full. And it has a chance of giving us another um, random prefix. If we did hit another prefix randomly, like this for example, we could always go in Harvest and uh, Reforce keep suffixes and to clean it, and uh, with a chance of uh, getting more mods. But if you get unlucky and you get more mods, like, like this, if you get it, you can just do it again. But yeah, uh, once you have one prefix open, you can go back to doing this. You do Zavix going to be changed, Veil Chaos Orb. And before veiling a prefix, uh, the Veil prefix that we want to go for are probably life or some damage, some kind of damage, depending on your build. So before unveiling, we probably want to block mana. And then we reveal or just look whatever is the best uh, way to block on your build. And as you can see, we got life now with mana reason, which is good for some builds. And then we can just reach the last craft to whatever you need. Uh, if you're like uh, an attack build and you don't care about the mana cost, you, you can go some for, some for some flat like this, or you can go for the mana cost, uh, non sandling skills, or you can go for whatever you want. You can even go for percent global damage if you really want if it's better scaling for your build. And this is a pretty much six mod item and the total cost is probably around five, six exalts, including the base and the suffix cannot be changed and the veil chaos orb. Uh, usually it takes only one suffix to be changed. If you get unlucky, it might take like two maybe. Uh, if you don't want to try and gamble on the veil, you can always um, do this instead. Instead of... Uh, uh, using the Veiled Chaos Orb, you can also harvest Reforce Life for the first prefix. Let's say we didn't have this. We're in this spot. 
at the start when we just want to get the prefixes. You can always use Reforged Life, but this uh, is a gamble. It's like one in seven or something to hit T1. Uh, if you're happy with like a T2 or T3 life like this, you can also use Reforged Life. But I think I recommend uh, just going for the Veiled mod like this and finish it. It's like really easy to hit life on a Veiled Chaos Orb. Or if you don't need life, uh, let's say we're in this step here, back here when we unveil. Let's say we didn't get life here and we just got fire damage, lighting damage, or fire damage, cold damage. We unveil this and then on the last mod, we just craft life on the bench and we're pretty much done. See, we have a six mod item and uh, we're pretty much only used once stuff is going to be changed. So it's a few essences. Uh, a fractured ring, which is like a few exalts, and uh, one suffix cannot be changed, one veil chaos orb, and a craft, and maybe some bestiary prefix to suffix stuff and suffix to prefix. The total is like six exalts or something. I crafted this one. Uh, I crafted this one with the uh, reforged life. I crafted this one with veil chaos orb, and uh, I have another one here that I made yesterday with just some flat damage and uh, crafted life and uh, accuracy and rest suffixes. Uh, it, the stats go up to 50 elemental damage with attacks with the, with the quality elemental damage modifier like this with the um, uh, catalyst quality and 25% crit multi when you divine it. And it's a lot of damage uh, for a ring Usually you might get more on an um, influence item, but they're way harder to craft and this is really, really easy for a few exalts. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.